figure out how to replicate what the movie had done to audiences in a real way by building a physical shark that would come out of the water and terrify tourists as they were sitting in the trap. And the most amazing thing about the Jaws ride is it is exactly as it was from the time it was first placed on the Universal lot. There have been tweaks, of course, over the years, but it is essentially what the designers and myself all envisioned and created. I'm done bashing the shark. Thank you, Jaws, for everything you've done for me. But I will say, consistently, the shark did work much better on the tour than it did in the Atlantic Ocean in 1974. residential area and on the street to our left we call colonial street but some of you may recognize this is the beginning of wisteria lane from the show desperate housewives the next neighborhood icon we're going to be passing is the line of states gates hey welcome to marty mcfly home and back to the future now steven spielberg who you just heard from was a producer on back to the future and we're currently going up steven spielberg drive so it's very obvious he's important to us here at Universal. So in his own words, here's how he got his start. My entire career began with my relationship with Universal Studios just as a high school kid on a tour bus. Remember in those days there weren't trams, there were buses called the Grey Line Tour Bus. And I was so excited and thrilled to be on the lot. It was my first time ever on a movie studio lot. And during a bathroom break, I hid in the bathroom, and when everybody left to get back on the bus, I waited another 15 minutes until I'm sure the bus left, and then I had the entire lot to myself that day. And in those days, movie lots were so crowded because all movies were made on film lots. Today they're made all over the world, on locations, but most of it was focused in those days, in the 60s, on the film lots. So nobody noticed me when I was going around from soundstage to soundstage, and I really felt, in my own young way, I owned the lot and had the most amazing day of my life. Now don't get any bright ideas from Mr. Spielberg, but if you want to get away, we have some picture cars over here. We've got some from the Jurassic franchise. If you're ready to rubble, we have Barney Rubble's car from the Flintstones, oh, as well right. as some from Transformers and Fast and what? Furious. But folks, if you've been driving yes. all day long, there's a chance you might need to take a break. So. Here we are at the Bates Motel. It looks like they have some vacancies. Aren't we lucky? Now, Alfred Hitchcock's film, Psycho, uh, was the very first film to show a flushing toilet on screen. Yeah, a little movie trivia for you there. That is the only potty humor I have as part of my tour today, though, folks. Now, on a more serious note, we can thank Alfred Hitchcock for establishing the concept of movie times. It was very important to him that people saw his film from start to finish, so he didn't let late admit. So the idea of getting a ticket for a specific time, we can largely credit to Alfred Hitchcock. But while we get up to the Bates residence, you may notice Mother up in the windows. She rocks. Now, as we pass this ominous house, we find ourselves now coming in to an ominous set. Welcome to Steven Spielberg's set from his film, War of the Worlds. The airplane crash site set is perfect example of the set that is all designed around the vision of Steven. You forget to sit down and talk about the war of the world. I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's, it's just something you don't see. You need tissue. Oh,
Movie magic only happens when a team of collaborators, often in the hundreds, work together to take an impossible notion and bring it to life. This is Jupiter's Claim, a nostalgic, small-time Southern California amusement park owned by former child star Ricky Juke Park. This isn't the finale. Over there, look into the winking well and have your picture taken just like the kids in that old 90s movie Kid Share. That's what this whole place is loosely based on. Remember that one? No? Why? Well, a little further down, you can see the brand new Star Lasso Experience. Built to showcase an unbelievable new live show. It's not looking so live anymore. <laughs> anyway. Behind this Hollywood fantasy of a gold rush frontier town lies a sinister secret. Welcome to the world of no. So I consider you part of my family. Let's head on into our favorite family franchise, The Fast and Furious. Now folks, as we head into Sullivan's Garage, I've got to remind you to remain seated at all times. Keep those arms and legs inside, hang on to your belongings, and uh, have those 3D glasses ready. You're going to need them soon. I'll let you know when to put them on though, folks. It's just easier to find them when there's still some sunlight. All right, welcome to Sullivan's Garage. Hey, you! We just got here. All right, I got it. Well, listen, hello, beautiful people, particularly you right there missing the third row. How are you doing? You good? My name is Roman Pierce. Pleased to meet you. Buddy Hobbs asked us to stash you yeah, with Sean for a while. So we brought you in our secret spot. We're having a few friends over. It's a little messy, but it's all good. The more the merrier. Especially you right there in that third row. Right? I'm okay, that so look, see over there? It's Hobbs Urban Assault Vehicle. The best truck the U.S. government can buy. But that work of art back over there is made by my man Tej. Think of it as like a Mona Lisa on wheels. Actually, so did you break it down to them? What's that? You had one job to do, Roman. One. All right, look, guys. We're gonna keep Shaw from finding you, but to keep you safe, we need your help. We don't want the syndicate tracking us here, so put away your cameras and turn off your cell phones. One flash or one ringtone can give us away. I need y'all to take this real serious. Okay, pull into the next bay and we'll meet you in there. So like I was saying, the third broke, right? Let me say, college. 